now um back here you know i don't know i don't know right now because i've been to university a very while ago but uh by the time i was going to university many people would be like uh, maybe it's because of the course i want to study because i want to you know i want to get a degree and some would be like i don't want to go to university because i mean i feel like just finishing my high school is enough i just want to take a short course maybe you know there are different programs that are there you know that would help people and you know a person you know um get a certain certificate that would help them get a job in the future but then you know there are those things that you know push us back but um i remember when we were talking you said about uh, in terms of unemployment in norway you gave an example in saying that um if a person is unemployed you know they have to take a particular course and the government will pay for it how can you tell us about that more well for example in norway if mm-hmm. you are unemployed yeah um we have a system where you get money from the government mm-hmm. in order to have a place to live and food and those mm-hmm. things but in order to get that money and that support the mm-hmm. government does require something of you mm-hmm. when you, the case is that you don't have a job mm-hmm. and that usually is that you have to take some form of course okay. either it's something where you learn a new skill mm-hmm. so that you can apply for other types of jobs Mm-hmm. If you have a skill set that's not really relevant anymore mm-hmm. or is not that useful mm-hmm. um or it's just a course on how to apply for jobs. Okay. Uh how to interview, how to write a resume, mm-hmm. getting internships, mm-hmm. and those kind of things and getting some practical training in in that sense as well. So it's pushing you to get a job. Okay. Basically trying to help you do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Quite unique. <laughs> All right. Um just a quick one before go for a break. What role do you think online networks and communities play in helping young people find employment and connect with potential employer employers? We've spoken of social media in terms of the digital platforms, but here probably um I'm thinking of the angle of how, you know, maybe probably websites or particular portal that people you know can can see recruiters and all that and all this um I'm 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 only targeting basically their private institutions but also the government institution do you think um such types of platforms can play a great role well yes i do because the thing is when it comes to unemployment as well it's there are companies out there looking for employees mm-hmm. right yeah and there are em- potential employees looking for jobs mm-hmm. but then sometimes the distance between those two parties mm-hmm. is large mm-hmm. and it's difficult for them to find each other yeah so it's basically you're searching for a good fit and if you have a digital platform it it minimizes the distance mm-hmm. and that makes it easier to get a job and it's good it's good for everyone it's good for yeah. employers and it's good for employees because mm-hmm. it you might be living in the wrong region but you can see oh here is the yeah. perfect job for me and it might yeah. be a hassle to move here mm-hmm. but in this area i've seen online and i've applied and i've gotten a job mm-hmm. so i'll move there yeah. well if there wasn't that platform you wouldn't you know wouldn't, about you yeah definitely oh my goodness so huh. so again <laughs> as an individual do you have a push do you have a drive that you were necessarily um out there looking for a job or maybe you know looking for to better yourself because at the end of the day again you know i might know that there's linkedin but i might not be using it you know as the way i'm supposed to be using it i might just be going there to just look at people's posts people's achievements the way they're posting because i have a friend who just teases about how linkedin you know posters are they will be like i just managed to i don't know what what and all that so Are you using the social media platforms that are there in a way to better yourself and that is um in terms of skills making yourself valuable more valuable but also in terms of looking for employment but as well apart from that there are portals that are there um I don't know in Norway if, um what type of portals you have I know in Tanzania there's one that's called Ajira portal and um basically you can see job postings from the government but also there are various um um private privatized portals for from different organizations that give out employment opportunities they just post jobs there but you have to set up a profile just like in Nigeria portal you set up a profile and make sure your profile is just well set you put your certificates so it comes back to you as well as an individual what are you doing 
how are you making yourself more valuable how are you you know how are you saying things you know that would attract recruiters back to your profile because man there's nobody who's going to come do it for you you have to do it yourself yeah i mean that's that's what i what i think um do no way have you know this type of portals where somebody can just go into and see jobs yes wow we do. um and it's very widely used so it's it's a very popular way mm-hmm. to look for jobs because mm-hmm. it makes it easier because mm-hmm. otherwise it takes a lot of time mm-hmm. um and things like that so of course we we also need to use those and it's no one also for us mm-hmm. no one's gonna come to you and ask <laughs> you do you want a job here oh yeah <laughs> at least it's mm-hmm. not very common then mm-hmm. you need to have worked for a while and you need to have a very good reputation and a good network and those things also take work that you actually need to put okay. in okay so and so we put a lot of time into that as well oh wow so it comes back to you as an individual as i said earlier it comes back to you so don't blame someone don't blame what what did you do for yourself and um uh, before you take a short break you know um i i was um talking to one of my friends recently and i just told him that um i was i usually do online jobs that are not even you know the the people who send those jobs are not even in tanzania they're in different countries you know not even in africa and there are some platforms that like you know people can search and get them you know their apps as well which offers jobs online jobs so there are some platforms um they would just limit you and tell you that um we don't offer jobs from region in that area so you cannot apply for any job in that particular platform unless maybe you've moved to a region where it allows the operation of that of that um, particular app so in that angle i'm just trying to insist on the young people today and right now come on you don't have to wait and say oh my god i couldn't get this one so i'm just going to sit back and wait it still goes back to you what are you doing what are you looking for i went into a platform as an attorney but i do jobs that are not even attorney related <laughs> yes just because of the experience that i've done two to three jobs and those clients just recommended on the app that this person is good and the services offered is nice but i'm like this is not what i started for my profile doesn't even say that but people are giving me those jobs so yeah so guys it goes back to you in terms of how you manage and use your social media platforms don't only use it to just you know watch videos and all that of course it's you have to entertain your mind we have to rest we don't always have to be on a you know on our food and all that but make sure you settle as well in terms of you know your aspiration your long-term plans in terms of how you're gonna get that income i, I, I want to see what's your opinion in terms of you know the future um how do you see how how can you predict let me put it this way how can you predict uh for the future of youth employment internationally well i can't really what are your predictions like you know just generally because re- you've spoken about um, um i'm just um this is just taking me back to the point you spoke about that you know um globally um there's there are countries that you know the population is decri- is declining you know but um you've you've given an example that africa you've seen that africa the population is not de- declining but increasing so in that angle you say that um you see that africa in the future could be a place for market for businesses and all that so in terms of youth employment what do you think how will that you know look for africa i think you've answered in that angle but what about other regions well in other regions i think it's more about economic general economic development mm-hmm. and and trends are we in a boom or are we in a recession <laughs> okay. those things matter more mm-hmm. um and and also how these countries deal with the decline in population because the systems that are in place in these countries mm-hmm. need a certain level of um work life participation Okay. To yeah, to definitely. Them. Mm-hmm. Um and if we don't have that, we have a problem. And that's mm-hmm. something that currently these mm-hmm. governments are dealing with. Mm-hmm. So it has more to do with those systems than necessarily mm-hmm. unemployment, I think at the moment okay. in those regions because mm-hmm. we need to figure out how to get enough people people the workforce yeah, yeah to actually work mm. and to pay taxes and to oh yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> the taxing part. Yeah, and to actually have a, mm-hmm. yeah, have a functioning system. Mm-hmm. Uh, because um, currently the population that's uh, going to be retired is mm-hmm. larger than the population that is working. And that's a problem yeah. in these countries. Yeah, definitely. Oh, my goodness. So, so do you think there are any kind of maybe trends or, you know, sectors that will significantly impact the job opportunities for young people for the future yeah well i would say that it's a lot technology Mm because technology is the future and we're Mm -hmm. constantly developing and the and the development in that sector is so rapid it's Mm -hmm. so fast Mm -hmm. it's incredible yeah Uh, so i think that is a sector that is Mm going to be very important healthcare Mm-hmm. Healthcare is so important, and <laughs> developing yeah. that, and and um, also making it more efficient, using mm-hmm. technology in healthcare, mm-hmm. those things, super important, and wow. also sustainability. Oh yeah, is really huge <laughs> mm-hmm. potential. Wow. Oh my goodness, Jamani. A young person this morning when I need to listen, I'm going to do listen. I'm sorry, Mengi. Where any predictions? If you know, I'm going to ukombele ni. I'm going to die. Yo, ata mi mi. So it's going to be tan. It's not so so so. It's going to be It's a future, but then it's so close by. I would say maybe like you know maybe okay. Good example is like you know the UN report where they say 50 years to come, they see a. Uh, Um, they see countries uh, using technology massively and they also were insisting na kumbuka ripoti yao ya mwaka jana they insisted that um, they see that most women are not engaging in technology use so they were they had you know a campaign for women's day that they should stick and you know grow into using technology because 50 years to come it's going to be the thing that has to be used in day to day so guys Mimski Alex anasema it's important to to be acquainted with the technology because it's growing like in PM ongela industry ya healthcare you know vitu kama hivyo healthcare wanasema afya yako ni mtaji wako wa kwanza there's no health yani unaweza ukao na pesa na nini lakini kama una afya rafiki yangu eh vitapotea hivyo vitu kwa hiyo healthcare is also important it should be you know to make more efforts na vitu kama hivyo kwenye kuendeleza afya eh ya kipekee yako ya kijamii lakini pia if you have you know any kind of thing that would help into healthcare lakini na nimependa Alex ameweza kuongezea zaidi kusema healthcare should also be you know more advanced but also technology too should be used as well to provide healthcare solutions kwa wananchi so um What advice would you give to young people about adapting changes in the job market? I would say that mm-hmm. it's about constantly trying to learn new things. Learning, uh, yeah, okay. evolving, evolving. And k- kind of also searching mm-hmm. and applying yourself. Mm-hmm. But it's also about of course being sympathetic to that it's difficult and that it's hard <laughs> um but not kind of letting obstacles deter you from what you want to do in life mm. and, and you should be more resilient in what you want to do yeah but yeah. also you should be able to keep up and learn you know yo advance yourself self advancement self self growth yeah and in terms of professional wise in what you do basically what you're basically doing or you might not it might not be maybe something you've studied for but it's the skill that you have the skill set that you have because i once met um a young guy he studied something different he's a doctor but he's also an artist he paints but he he's yet to to get employed in any kind of hospital he just graduated so he still paints And you know every day he advances himself in terms of learning different types of painting skills and all that so that you know because I know art art people would would differentiate this is the type of art this is old this is the version but I mean you know if you see paintings you'll be like for those who don't know art like me would be like oh this is nice this is nice but a person who knows art you say ah oh, this this has been used has been crafted this way that way so he's advancing himself in that angle so what are you doing in terms of growth so jamani eh 
Alex anakwambia it's important it's really really important for you to be able to you know to learn new things to grow your skills you know increase jamani don't decrease don't the pressure don't decrease increase hey jamani creating your own luck <laughs> is very important oh yeah definitely <laughs> creating your own luck that's important as well